Hello guys and welcome to Skirt Garage. My name is Connor and today I've got a cool little video for you. I'm going to be doing a garage update video and it's pretty simple as to why some things have happened. I've sold a car and I've gained a new car. As a matter of fact, I have sold my beloved Dilf wagon. And in a few moments here, I'm going to show you a clip as to how that happened because it actually wasn't a complete sell. I actually traded the car. More on that later. But after I go about telling you guys how that whole experience happened, I will then give you guys a sound clip and two hints as to what is going to be replacing the beloved Dilf wagon. And if you're a fellow nerd like me who loves cars, there's a pretty good chance that you'll be able to guess which car this is. So what I'm going to do is, like I said, give you guys some sound clips and two guesses and I'm going to see if you guys can guess which car I have purchased in the comments section down below. And with that guys, I think we're ready to get this video started. Let's go. Hello everybody and good morning. It is currently 4.30 in the morning here in Oklahoma and I have a very long drive ahead of me. What I'm gonna be doing is actually driving to Des Moines, Iowa and I'm gonna be trading this, my beloved E30 Touring, what I lovingly call the Dill Wagon. Now let me tell you why real fast. So yes, I'm gonna be trading this car right here. Uh, and after a year of ownership, I have absolutely just loved this car. I'll talk more about that later on, but today, uh, for the short term, it's going to be heading to Des Moines, Iowa. And at the end of the video here, I will show you a sound clip of the new car that will be replacing it. So with that, guys, let's get started. Alright guys, yes, unfortunately the Dilf wagon has left the skirt garage. I love that car. It's probably been the car that I have worked on, truly worked on the most out of any car I have ever owned. And it's really a treat to drive. As you can tell from those clips, it was bombing 80-90 miles an hour the entire way up to Des Moines. Uh, just a pleasure to drive, awesome car to look at. If it had more creature comforts, I would probably keep it for forever. But um, it's hard to daily this car every single day, if I'm just completely honest with you guys. It's worth a good amount of money, and if I drive the absolute crap out of it 30 miles a day like I normally do, it would just eat the value. And I want something that I can put miles on and not kill the value, so if I can just spread the mileage between this and another car, I think that would be awesome. I still get a chance to daily the M2 and daily another car. Um, and I couldn't do that with the DILF because it didn't have air conditioning and it's just way too hot here in Oklahoma It's 100 degrees today and without air conditioning driving 30 miles a day uh, It's just a little bit difficult. So that's Primarily the main reason why the car left just the lack of creature comforts um, If it was a third or fourth car, I would have never sold it but uh, I was in a position where I did need a more reliable car and so that is exactly what happened so now we're going to get on to the fun part and that's going to be giving you guys uh, an interior sound clip and an exterior sound clip and two hints. So let me get started with the two hints. The first hint, um, what am I going to say? Okay, this is a good one. It has four doors. So hint number one, the car I bought has four doors. You guys are also going to get some hints based on the way it sounds, so keep that in mind. The second hint. Um, it has an 8-speed transmission. That is unique in an older car. Think about that. 8-speed transmissions, they weren't all that common up until pretty recently. So, 4-door, 8-speed transmission, those are the two hints. With that and the way it sounds, I think you guys are going to be off to the races. So, I'm going to give you guys a sound clip now. Let me know in the comment section down below what you think it is. Alright, let's get started. Oh, 
Okay guys, there you have it. That is the sound clips and the two hints, like I said, uh, the way it sounds, four doors and an eight speed transmission. Those are the hints you got. Hopefully you can make sense of this all and you will know exactly what I bought. And if you do know, let me know in the comment section down below. Love you guys, thank you for stopping by. Have a great day and we will see you on the next video. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. Help me realize that I should keep doing these videos. With that, we'll see you.